Assalamu alaikum dear students. Today we are going to do our first experiment, uh, fine measurements. So in this experiment, we are going to do uh, some measurements and our objective is to teach you how to use some instruments like uh, my, this is what we call, it's a vernier caliper, screw gauge and uh, these are the instruments I am going to introduce you. And you know that this is a mechanics lab, physics one. So in this lab, we are going to do measurements like the fundamental quantities like mass, length and time. In order to measure mass, uh, we will use this kind of balances. And of course, everybody knows that in order to measure mass, right? And in order to measure time, we will use stopwatch. And also we can use our mobile stopwatch. So measuring time, measuring mass. Also, we are we need to measure length because these are the three fundamental quantities: mass, length, and time. In order to measure length, of course, you all did it many times. We will use measuring tapes like this, or we used in schools or in many times this kind of uh, rulers or I mean in instruments, scales many times but we know that these measurements have certain limitations because the if you wanted to make some small measurements the measurement accuracy is not that much up to the mark right so that's why that's that's why we need some tools which should provide us very accurate measurements so that we are plan to use or we are planning to introduce you to use these instruments and in fact it is the vernier caliper and we need to use also we need to you need to understand how to use this we call the screw gauges in order to help you to understand how to use this instrument i'm going to just help you with a, a big model of the vernier caliper and if you can see that it's a, a wood piece of course two pieces this is the this is the main scale in fact you can see there are some graduated divisions here uh, marked from 0 to 20 0 then 1 2 3 4 5 yes 10 divisions also you can see there is a scale here it can be moved we call it the subscale and in fact in the subscale you can see there are 10 divisions right 0 to 10 and of course if you if you wanted to use this instrument to measure the length of suppose if you want to measure the length of this pen i can keep this pen inside here now i will move all the way this back to here and you can see that now it stops and it could read something but maybe i will help you how to read this for that have a look here if i move this all the way here you can see that this zero the subscale zero and the main scale zero is coincide and also you look here the last 10 and the ninth one is coincide now for me just I will give you some idea. Look how this device is working. You can see that here there is 10 divisions and here there is 10 divisions. If I move this all the way here, this 10 divisions occupied in the 9 divisions of the main scale. That means there is a difference of 1 division. And this 1 division and this 10 division makes this instrument to use accurate measurements. Okay. That is the idea of almost all these instruments constructions. Now, let me help you to read. Now, of course, you will immediately read zero because you notice that there is nothing here. But if I place something here, that means if I wanted to place it, you need to place this inside. The moment the zero is moving away, the subscale zero is moving away from the main scale zero you can notice that now you look here i place the pen inside very freely and now it stops in fact you know that this is the length how could you read now it is easy for you because you notice that the zero is moved away from this zero from the main scale that means one two three four it is the fifth division six and seven yes the zero is in zero is after six and before seven so that means this is six point what is the next division six point what yes for that we will use the subscale if you look into the subscale the one of the reading of the subscale is making an alignment with the main scale which one 
you look at this line that means one two three the fourth line make an alignment so we can read this is 6.4 similarly if you wanted to read this how can you read it please tell me quickly what will be this length you can easily tell how first you will read where the zero is the zero is one two three yeah the zero is after three then the answer is three point okay then yeah you will read for the alignment you look for the alignment one yes you see you notice the alignment is here so that means seventh division so the answer is three point yes three point seven so that's the way we will use this instrument and finally this is the last one can you please read this yes this is zero is after one yes and which division is making alignment second division right so the answer is 1.2 this is the idea and same way this idea we will be using the same idea we are going to use to read the micrometer and of course here i have a model of micrometer and it is also going to work the same principle the same idea can i ask you to read this length imagine if i wanted to read this what i will do i will just keep it inside and just tie it from this then you will hear a sound of tick after that you will stop and how can you read it you can read it very easily because this is zero of course we will read it is one so one two three yes one two three so this line the ring this line is after three that means before four so we can read it as three point something what is that something in fact you can see that it is this line is making an alignment with the eight so it is better to read three point eight it is exactly the same principle we use here right let me show you one more reading if i wanted to read this can you please help me to read yes what is this reading this reading is yes this line this ring line is after two so one two two point yes two point seven yes the answer is exactly correct and with this idea you will be able to read this and i'm going to help you with this i will show you some pictures and we will together try to read this are you ready yes okay students yeah look this this is uh, the vernier caliper and we are trying to read this one the same way that we did before okay the idea here is of course you know that you can see that there here there is a cylinder and we place it here and now we we need to read this in an accurate way i'm going to help you with that the first thing is here you can see that this is the main scale is in centimeter right so the main scale is in centimeter and yeah in our manual we insist you to read the length in millimeter so let us read it in millimeter fine we know that this is one centimeter one centimeter means it is 10 millimeter 20 so that means one two three four this is fifth millimeter so five so you can see right okay the idea is how to read it you remember the first thing you need to do is where the zero is where the zero of the subscale is that's the first reading we are going to do where the zero of the subscale this is a subscale you can see this is a subscale and where the zero is can you please have a look yes you notice the zero is here of course you want to see that you wanted to read this you want to read it in millimeter right so this is 20 so that means this is yes 21 yes 22 23 24 and this is 25 right so that means the zero is in between the zero is between 24 and 25 right 24 and 25 so that means we will read it 24 so 24 point what is that point we need to read right and you know the idea is you know to read that 
we need to look for the alignment of the subscale with the main scale and if you observe all these you will see only one of them making a proper alignment and you need to figure it out and I, I, I can give you a small hint have a look here where the zero is the zero is close to 24 or close to 25 Have a look once again. Yes, you are right. It is close to 25. That means it's, it could be something 24 point above 5. Definitely because it is close to 25. That means 24.7 or 6, 24.8 or something that we are expecting. That's why I'm going all the way to that place. And I'm going to have a look. Now look closely to this region. You will see that there are so many lines making close but only one line making a perfect alignment if you closely look here you will see that okay please look yes could you figure out you could say that okay the value is somewhere here all these but if you closely look again and again maybe some of you will say sir it is 8 or maybe this yes you could have a doubt but you figure it out it is something these now look once again you can see that it is very very close and that is this line if it is the line how could you read okay we figure out this is the line how could you read it yes the idea is very clear we need to read this this is one this is two three four five okay it means if this is one and this is two means in between there are five divisions so that means each division is one divided by five each division is 0 0.2 yes so that means how can i read this line this is seven so 7.2 7.4 7.6 7 7.8 and this is 8 yes so that is correct we read it correctly it is 7.8 so that means is it 24.7.8 or 24.78 exactly it is 24.78 millimeter in fact it is 2.478 centimeter also but we read it in millimeter and that's what our requirement so you learn how to do it i believe is it okay so any doubt once again what you will do you just look where the zero is right first you look where the zero is the zero is between 24 and 25 so you understand that it is 24 then you look for the main scales one of the division which make an alignment and you notice that and this is the one and it is after seven and before eight and it is the this perfect one so you read it as 7.8 so the answer is 24.7 a portion of the uh, micrometer and this is the we are only doing, going to concentrate on the reading now i'm sure you know this reading i'm definitely you will read it right you can see uh, this is the main scale and this is the subscale in fact we will call it in different names but today i'm going to call it main scale and subscale and the subscale it is a moving scale and you can rotate it and in fact i mean i will show you in some other videos okay now we are going to read it look this is the line we are going to read right of course the first we need to read the main scale if you look at the main scale this is 0, this is 5. That means this is 1, this is 2, 3, 4 and 5 and this is 6. So that means this line is exactly after 6. But if you have a look once again, there are some halfway marking also. That means each of these reads, if it is 1 and 2, this means it is 2.5. Is this? line appears after 6 or after 6.5 or before 6.5 yeah tell me your answer yes it is after 6 
and you may be see 6.5 somewhere here but we can't see so this is the main scale reading that we are going to read and of course we are going to read it in millimeter and this is in millimeter this instrument is in millimeter so we get the main scale reading i'm going to write it here what is the value six now we are going to look for the next reading that means the subscale reading so it is six point something what is that something yes if you observe here you can see that this is 45 that means this is 46 47 48 49 0 0 means 50 or 0 because the one complete rotation has 50 divisions so how could you read it now this is 45 46 47 48 this line exactly reads 48 so your answer it is directly 6.48 so you know now how to read it right tell me i will tell you once again how did i read have a look first i looked this line this is the moving scale separation between these two that means when you rotate it this line will be moving away or coming closer anyway now this line is exactly after six so this is the line six so this is six millimeter and we are going to read this division is what of course you can see that when you observe the machine you'll see that it is 45 46 47 and 48 so the answer is 6.48 now let me ask you if if i move this if i if i keep tightening this and imagine it moved somewhere here that means now this is the picture that if you are going to see how will you read it so so this is the picture i mean this is what you observe in the micrometer can you please help me to read yes we know the idea we will read where the line is or where this subdivision is of course it is 5 and this is what 5.5 you don't see the 6 so your answer is the one you are going to read is 5.5 right in fact this one you read initially 6.0 then you see the 0 0.48 you add you get the 6.48 the same idea i'm going to use it i'm going to see here 5.5 or 5.50 now where is this subscale it is 46 47 48 so you're supposed to read this way so 0 0.48 if you add it is 5.98 yes your answer is correct so you will read this is 5.9